What's up everyone, my name is Miles. I'm a 24 year old seven figure Amazon seller and in this video we're gonna be going through several winning Amazon online arbitrage products my virtual assistant sent me that he sourced and we're gonna be breaking down the numbers, how many I would buy, if I would buy them or not, the Keepa, the seller amp. So stick around to see what several profitable products look like and a full analysis. Let's review some winning products. So this first one we're looking at right here is this Coco Glass uh, moisturizing item right here which is selling for 70 bucks. Right off the bat, that seems pretty expensive for a product like this. So um, then using the rule of one to two, which is the idea that your product cost, the sale price should be below 50%, should be right around 50% or below it. However, something like this item, if we go over here on the seller amp, app, seller amp and uh, get a graze over the, um, the box right there, we can see that this only weighs one ounce. So the fees are going to be a lot lower on this. So this is a really efficient product in respect to weight to the overall sale price right here. We can see on seller amp that the max cost is 42 right here. So if we enter that in the prop calculator, we can see if we pay 42, we're going to make right around a 25% ROI on that. So ideally we are paying like 38 or so on this. Um, and then in terms of what we actually can pay that my virtual assistant found is if we hop over here, we can see we can actually buy this for $36 right here on the Chanel website right here. And assuming it's free shipping, which pretty much all websites are on that, we can pay 36 per unit, right? And then if we scroll over here, we can see at a 36 uh, per unit cost, we can see we're going to make 16 bucks profit right here. The BSR is 80K. The BSR is basically the sales rank. It's the same thing. The sales rank is an indication of the volume of how well this product sells, right? So for example, the number one ranked product is the fastest selling in the entire beauty category. Then the number 10 ranked product is slightly slower selling, but still incredibly quick, right? This is an 80K BSR, which is relatively high. We can see it is selling estimated. It's selling 101 sales per month right here. And then if we scroll down and look at the Keepa, we can see that across a year right here, the price is totally trending up right here. And I have a full tutorial on Keepa and Selleramp if you want to check out those as well. But we can see that there were 72 sellers in October on this product. And now there are only 13. So naturally, the price went from 46 all the way up to 75 right there, right in the 70 range. Um, I think it's currently buy boxing at 69 right here. So that makes sense. If we look at the three month chart, which is what the data that I'd recommend looking at if you're newer, um, and actually you're not gonna be buying big quantities of stuff. And specifically even just the last month, we can see out of 69, let's call that right around the average, maybe 68, the average for the last 30 days, we plug that in we can see we'd still be making a 42% ROI right here. So that's a great ROI, um, profit per unit's high. This is a small product, so you're gonna be able to fit a lot in a in a box. This is definitely a, a winning item right here. And I do see it says IP uh, suspected within seller ramp. We can see there's a bunch of other third-party sellers selling this. And if we go here, we can go to data and then offers. We can scroll over and see that there's been several sellers selling this for months and even years. This one guy's been on it for four years right there, which is pretty incredible. So there's a lot of uh, potential in this brand. It, it sure looks like um, on this, it may have IP'd in the past or um, something like that, but it does appear that this product is reseller friendly as there's other, other resellers selling it right here on that. Honestly, don't uh, think there's much, uh, much more need to overthink it. The ROI checks out, the velocity checks out. Um, uh, Chanel is a, or whatever, Chanel is a big brand right there. So this uh, checks out in terms of being a winner product right here and a great find by my virtual assistant. Don't need to look too more into the seller amp, but if I was going to go find more items from here, I would go down to the offers and open up more storefronts. We can do some of that in a sec right here. Okay. Next item right here, winning product number two, we can see this Neutrogena product right here immediately. I'm looking at the BSR. Okay. So it's a 22 K BSR right here. So the volume checks out. 500 sales per month. That looks good. It's a two ounce product song for 30 bucks. So the fees are going to be pretty low as, uh, as well. And we can see over on walmart.com, we can actually pay 10 bucks here on, uh, on that. So we can pay 10.99 on that. Um, this is pretty important though. If we pay 10.99 right here, we're going to make an, a profit of $9 and 85 cents on that. And we can see, okay, we're going to make a 90% ROI on that. And the buy box right here is a FBM seller on that. So we can see this is a fulfilled by merchant product. So we know if we're an FBA seller, we can probably price above that, right? We can scroll down to the competition here within Selleramp and see 
yeah, there's some FBA sellers a, a little bit higher in like the 30 range um, on that side plan on price selling is about 29.95. So like relatively the same price on that. Let's check if the Keepa makes sense right here. And we can see in terms of the last month, the price is pretty stable as well. And our ROI is high. So even at like a 24 sale price, we can see that the, uh, the profit per unit is still pretty good on that. However, a major red flag I need you guys to consider on this is if we go here, we can see that and see it sold and shipped by, uh, by uh, Melanin LLC right there, which is a third party seller on Walmart, which is definitely risky and something I avoid buying from. So this is not sold by Walmart themselves. It's sold by a third party seller on Walmart, which it's going to be very difficult to beat in authentic complaints if you do end up getting that on this product. And I'm personally not a fan of buying from third party sellers. I know a lot of people who do it, especially if the third party seller has a lot of reviews or something, but I chose this product as a specific example of uh, potentially a trap that I don't want you guys to fall into and everything like the The velocity is great. The profit per unit checks out and everything. It just does is coming from a third party seller, which may lead to some authenticity issues on that. And even though the Keepa checks out and everything, um, this is probably a product I would ultimately avoid. Um, on that right here however though it is a great opportunity to go ahead and storefront stock off this reverse sourcing and open up like this and open up a bunch of storefronts right here we do like four of them on that and now we can go ahead and see the other brands categories products overall that these sellers carry and go out and look for more profitable items from that and everything so that's called reverse sourcing i have other tutorials on that you should definitely check that out if you're interested in more product research um let's move on to the third uh, product right here, I would pass on that one due to it being from third party sellers. So, for some of you guys that maybe are a little bit uh, more risk on, it could definitely be a good opportunity right there. So, last one right here, we can see, okay, uh, this uh, bomb moisturizer right here immediately, okay, BSR 130K, not a huge fan. Um, I like mainly stand under like 100K, 70K, beauty is a little bit different, but ideally like 50K or as low as possible on that. So, the volume isn't great here. However, if the competition's low and I can get you know, maybe 15 sales a month and I'm making five bucks a piece. Like it might be worth my time to do, especially using the prep center and everything like that. And this is an important lesson on this item because if we go over their website, we can see uh, retail me not one of the coupon extensions is popping up with a 20% off code here, which looks great. Um, assuming that works, we are going to pay uh, $12 per unit right here on, uh, on that. Damn, the top cash back is really, really high too, looking at that as well so that looks awesome right there rectin's not bad either so say we pay 12 bucks for these right so we're paying 12 if we plug this into the seller amp calculator right here we're going to see we make about five bucks profit right here so that checks out uh potentially and now we want to go ahead and verify with the keepa because the keep is going to have to look really good if we're going to go with velocity that's this low right here and checking this out right here we can see the sales rank is very high and it's been even higher in the past and the big red flag right here is that the competition is skyrocketing so supply and demand if the competition's way up the price is probably going to continue going way down right there so this is a product i would for sure pass on if you're watching this in the future feel free to go ahead and look this up i bet the price is even lower right here so while on paper this is good i would pass on this item um due to unfortunately just the price probably going to be continuing to be on the way down which is not the type of item we want to sell and everything like that I hope you guys like this video. If you want more like this, let me know in the comments and I hope you have a great day. Make a bunch of money on Amazon.